If you are getting into FPV, I've seen so many posts recently with people buying incompatible gear. We're gonna go through a quick rundown now. It's gonna save you time and money and also some heartache because our drones that we fly around for FPV, they're not like the store ones that you can just take out of the box and everything is going to work. There is like three little things you need to understand that is gonna make it so much simpler. So if you've wanted to get into the hobby, but you've thought, man, there's so many options, my mind is exploding, this is all too confusing. Don't worry, give me two minutes, I'll teach you how to get into FPV, make the right choice, and understand the three critical things you need to talk about. So I got my FPV drone, great, you wanna fly around FPV? The first thing you're gonna need is a drone. Now, you should actually think to yourself, this is the last piece of the puzzle, I need to make sure I've got the other pieces first. So in order to fly a drone first, you need some way to control it, and that is going to be with a radio. Now, let me get two examples. And I've grabbed two very popular examples right here. Uh, and the radios that you are going to get are going to use protocols. The most common protocols that we have in our drone space is ELRS, which is this one, or you're going to be using Crossfire. And essentially what that means is, what is the language that these are speaking? So if I give an example, let's pretend that this radio it's speaking in Japanese. So we need the drone to have a little Japanese receiver on here so they can speak to each other. It's no point if this is talking French and this is talking Japanese that uh, they can't understand what each other is saying. So unless they are talking the same language, which we call protocol, you need to make sure they match up. So the most popular by far with about 90% of market share is ELRS. I've got some videos on it as well. It's a really rock solid, relatively pretty cheap system actually that does amazing things. So if your radio is ELRS, make sure that you are getting a receiver in your drone, which is ELRS. Now you might be going to buy a drone and it'll say it doesn't have a receiver or it might give you an option to choose one. Make sure that you get an ELRS receiver to go with it. And I'll show you an example on the screen actually. So if we have a look here, and we want to buy, we're going to go directly to their website, actually. I want, let's just pretend I want to buy this drone. And if we have a look here, we've got TBS Nano RX. That's not what we want. Look at this one. It is a ELRS 2.4. So that's going to be compatible with my ELRS radio. They're going to be speaking the same language. Now, on the flip side, there's a lot of other things you'll notice. You're like, man, how can I understand which one to get? And that is where, when it comes to our FPV drone, we now are talking the same language and how to control it between our drone and our radio. We can go and fly these, but we need to figure out a way when it comes to our FPV system, or that is our first person view system, the camera, and to get that image back to our eyes. And the way we do is by using, we almost showed some goggles that are under NDA, thank goodness I didn't, uh, something like this. So then you've got to think, okay, I'm going to buy my goggle system or my FPV system. There's the main ones are going to be analog, DJI, Walk Snail, HD0, or Cadex Ascent. So in order to do that, you think, all right, I am going to buy a set of DJI goggles. There's some links and comparisons in my channels. I'll put them somewhere on the screen as well, talking about the pros and cons of each system. But if I buy a set of DJI goggles here, let's pretend now these are speaking German. I need to make sure that the camera system in here is also speaking German so they can talk to each other as well. So there's no point having these speak, I don't know, English and this speaking, they're just not going to talk. You're not going to be able to get that image transmission sent back to your goggles. So they need to speak the same language as well. So you need to make sure you are getting the right system for you. You cannot fly this set of goggles around like let's say with this drone right here. These are completely incompatible. The video system that is in here is what I would, is HD zero. There is no way that this set of goggles here can decode what this little transmitter in here is spitting back out and sending to my goggles. So these would be incompatible. That is my tip. If you are going to be buying a drone this Christmas or in this like next session, season, holiday season, you need to make sure that your drone is compatible. And where I would start, and this is my recommendations, for most pilots, a 2.4 gigahertz ELRS radio is golden. That is gonna suit you for 90%, 95% of the hobby. The other part, that's where you need to go and watch. I'm gonna link the video 
on the pros and cons of each of those digital systems because they're all at different prices and there's there's good advantage the things like latency image quality all those sorts of things need to be taken into account as well happy flyer rc says buying a fly quads are really convenient for beginners and yeah and the beauty is once you buy that like let's for example say that i have an elrs and a walk snail goggle which is this one sometimes you can find drones like this this is a walk snail which is exactly the language that these goggles speak these these goggles are walk snail goggles i say language just so you can keep this understandable and look at this it's an elrs one so if i bought this exact drone i would be able to control it with this radio because it's an els radio and i would be able to see what the camera sees because the goggles also speaks the same as well and johnny drc has a great point he says you're going to need to learn how to uh fix it if you break it as well all right uh, there's no better, no better feeling than the first time building your quads. 